good evening boys and girls happy Sunday today I'm going to share with you the last kids on earth we have the whole set in the support room so if you don't win this in the raffle for perfect attendance you can come on down and borrow it anytime you want the last kids on earth chapter one that's me not the giant monster beneath the giant monster the kid on his back with a splintered bat, the handsome kid who's about to get eaten. 42 days ago, I was regular Jack Sullivan, 13 years old, living an uneventful life in the uninteresting town of Wakefield. I was totally not a hero, totally not a tough guy, totally not fighting giant monsters. But look at me now battling a gargantuan beast on the roof of the local CVS. Life is crazy like that. Right now, the whole world is crazy like that. Check the shattered windows. Check the wild vines crawling up the side of the building. All of these things are not normal. And me? I haven't been normal well ever. I've always been different. See, I'm an orphan. I bounced all over the country different homes, different families, before landing in this little town of Wakefield in December. But all that moving, it makes you tough. It makes you cool. It makes you confident. It makes you good with the girls. It makes you Jack Sullivan. Oh crud. Incoming Monster Fist. Crunch! Close call. Yikes! Almost got a Monster Fist to the skull there. I'm at CVS because I need an eyeglass repair kit. Those little tool sets that dads buy for when their glasses break. I know, it's a lame thing to need, but I have a walkie and that walkie is busted. And to fix that walkie, I really, really, really need a tiny screwdriver. And the only place to get a really, really, really tiny screwdriver is in an eyeglass re repair kit. This was supposed to be a quick, easy trip to CVS. But one thing I've learned about life, after the monster apocalypse, nothing's quick and nothing's easy. This monster here is the foulest, most ferocious, and just plain horrible thing I've encountered yet. He's straight up, ka-slam, yucks! The monster's massive fist pounds the roof until it cracks like thin ice. I trip, tumble back, and land hard on my bunny bone, my bony butt. It's time to stop being this monster's punching bag. See, I've kind of been the world's punchy bag for a while, and you know, it just ain't a whole lot of fun. So I'm fighting back. I get to my feet, I dust myself off, I grip the bat in my hand, not too tight, not too loose, just like the coach you in Little League, oh, only I'm not trying to hit some kid's lousy curveball. I'm trying to slay a monster. Ooh, who will triumph? Well, basically he triumphs. The monster's massive hand snatches me out of midair. I'm a thimble in his gargantuous grasp. I try to grab hold of my baseball bat blade, AKA the Louis Slicer, but the monster's crushing grip pins my arms to my sides. He pulls me in close to his face. Thick saliva, like slime, oozes down his lips. His eyes scan me over and his gaping nostrils flare as he inhales my scent. I feel like that blonde babe in King Kong. Only I don't think this beast wants to hug me and love me. He sniffs me some more, blowing my hair back as he exhales. I turn my face, his breath, it's just, wow, my man here, he needs to floss. I've encountered other freaky beasts over the last 42 days, but none like this. None that examined me, looking me over, smelling me, studying me. Now that felt this terrifying smart. Oh, sorry, none, uh, none that felt this terrifyingly smart. I have a slick feeling in my gut. A sense, something that tells me that this beast here is 100% pure, beyond, beyond evil. 
A smile creeps across the monster's face. A sinister smirk that says, I'm not simply some primal thug. I'm a monstrous villain, a great evil, and I will enjoy inflicting pain upon your tiny human body. With a spy tingling moan, the beast's mouth opens wide, revealing an army of dirty fangs with chunks of flesh between each tooth. I kick, I swarm, I squirm, and facing an imminent death by devouring, I at last bite. My teeth sink into the monster's flesh and his paw loosens slightly, just enough for me to wrap my fingers around my blade's handle, rip it free, and... You're gonna have to get the book.